right, welcome back to coverage of Supercompute 2024. We're back by the power of Dell's AI factory. Literally behind us is the Dell AI factory. We'll get into that in a little bit. This show has been amazing. There's people out here trying to cure diseases, solve global warming challenges, and we're talking to the infrastructure players helping that happen. I'm joined by the CEO of Peak IO, Mr. Cummings. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having us. And then returning as a guest, Avi from Solidine. Welcome back. Thank you, Keith. Great you bring to be another here. hard drive for me to show and tell? <laughs> no hard drive. SSDs. Good correction. <laughs> you can tell I'm a geek, but we're going to up level the conversation by starting out the conversation with you, Roger. Talk to me about the Dell AI factory and its importance of solving these critical world challenges. Uh, absolutely, and I think it's interesting in, in my career, I've been in infrastructure my whole entire career, but now infrastructure is closer to solutions. And what I mean by that is the, between the Dell and the, and the Solonime relationships, we're solving cancer, as you mentioned earlier, solving cancer, saving hedgehogs, right? Certain um, innovations are closer to the edge. And Dell and Solonheim help us uh, and allow us to get closer to that edge. So we're very excited and, you know, infrastructure is sexy again. Uh, and we're able to really uh, determine cancer or define cancer early, earlier in a patient's, uh, uh, a patient's involvement. So it's really, really exciting time. Yeah, early detection is so important. My family yep. members have benefited from these technologies. Absolutely. And I am so appreciative of the work that companies like Dell and several of the university partners who are on the show floor do. Now tell me about Peak IO. What's the relationship between Dell and Peak IO? So uh, Peak AIO is a software defined storage layer. So we can sit on various software platforms and we turn those commodity hardware platforms into high performance storage and data devices for AI and HPC workloads. So we have an incredible relationship with Dell as well as Solidime providing the density that we need, um, density, uh, the high capacity that we need to push that, to push that AI to the edge. So you could do more of running the models and training the AI models right at the edge and get the inference uh, to make decisions at the edge too. So Avi, talk to me about kind of speeds and feeds a little bit, you know, connect the dot all the way from the low level, all the way up to this higher level business value. What is peak IO and Solidine tested this, that works like fundamentally well? What would be a typical configuration? Yeah, so when it comes to AI, it all, like there are four things, right? Which we at Solidine, along with our customers believe in. You need low latency, you need high bandwidth, uh, you need high density, yep. and you need cost affordability, right? And when you, uh, and affordability has a bunch of, parameters when you try and, when you look at power constraints you look at real estate space you look at the overall tco of your solution and uh, what we've been able to partner and bring to uh, one of our um, uh, customers collectively uh, is a con in a power limited um, uh, space have all the uh, compute and density needs which our customer wanted. Uh, you're talking about the Zoological uh, mm -hmm. Society of London, uh, which wanted to capture images for conservational needs, and the need for images just doesn't stop. You're no. talking millions of millions of images, and they needed real-time processing. So what um, our, our partners, uh, PKIO and Dell, did uh, was provide compute 2D, 2 DGX NVIDIA servers uh, with um, a PKIO software on top as a fraction layer, and they did they needed a density which was uh, um, three petabytes. So uh, three petabytes in a on-prem within the zoo, you just can't do that with hard drives. Yeah. Um, and come solid time with our high density SSD solutions, uh, we help solve that problem. Yeah, and I'll, I'll bring up two other things too. You have to remember um, in AI, in the AI world, our customers are computational biologists, or in this example is, is a professor in biology. Um, they don't really want complexity. So they want simplicity. And to, to your point on density, um, with infrastructure, and, and, and uh, you can't afford to put infrastructure, in this case, outside an exhibit, 
for an animal. Right. Uh, they actually had to move the water deer to a new facility uh, because the cooler in the behind the building was actually frightening the, the deer. So it's a great example and a great testimony for both Dell, Solidime, and PKIO of how our infrastructure is simplified, right, to provide incredible value at the edge. So talk to me about the reduction of complexity, not from the technology perspective, but from the business relationship perspective, because, mm -hmm. you know, these data scientists and scientists, they just want to solve their problems. Right. They don't want to design systems. Exactly right. So so our solution, along with, with support from Dell and Solidine, is very simple to maintain. When you buy a GPU, you're spending, you're, you're making a tremendous amount of investment. But then you find out that I have to have the supporting infrastructure, storage infrastructure to feed that uh, very, you know, high performance system. So a lot of times you have to, you look at the industry and there's a lot of complexity that comes with that. Our product is very simple. And what I mean by simple, it's you set it, it collects the information, it stores it for you. It is a high performance. You don't have to touch it. It's very, it, it, our, our goal in building PKIO is starting from scratch around AI. We're not at the enterprise uh, storage layer where you have a lot of features and functions. We're central around AI and the simplicity around AI as Ave mentioned, it's performance, power, and density. We try to make those things very simple for the user to use. So you're talking to other CEOs, peers who have initiatives, the AI supports, but there's the, I think it's the harming and the balance when it comes to ESG goals, such as uh, carbon footprint reduction, et cetera. Talk to you about how you're helping support that mission while at the same time helping to uh, have the other business outcomes. Yeah, absolutely. And I think the Solidime technology is key there because the QLC capabilities allows organizations to run things at a much more power efficient absolutely. manner, right? So it's, it, it's all about the square foot of savings that you're giving these organizations. They only have so, many, so much space or, in, in their infrastructure. So our part is to make that very high performance on a very low, you know, very low uh, footprint. Solid, I'll turn on the obvious to talk about the Solidime value that they bring from the density perspective too. Yeah, so in fundamentally Keith, right, when you look at AI, AI requires a lot and a lot of data. And guess what? Data requires efficient infrastructure. Yeah. And for infrastructure to be efficient, you have to have a paradigm of uh, solutions which are not only solving your bandwidth and performance needs, but also making it sustainable as you rightfully called out on the power side. So uh, where the incumbent solution, which without a PKIO, Dell, or uh, Solidime SSDs, would have been a system with hard drives in it, which would have consumed 30% of the overall uh, power, uh, which wouldn't have allowed uh, our customers ESL uh, to invest in GPUs. GPU is the primary investment. You need to keep GPUs fed all the time with data, um, which requires bandwidth and density. And with Solidime SSD is offering 80% lower power compared to hard drives, uh, it helps solve the, the power issues which our customers face. Yeah. yeah, so there's this debate, which I don't think there is a debate anymore because you folks are helping solve the problem. Should I bring my data to the AI <laughs> or the AI to the data? Talk to me about the transformative nature of being able to simply bring the NVIDIA GPUs, the Dell factory, to my data and business processes? Well, I, I think from our perspective, it's as they bring, wherever they bring, whatever they, whatever they conceive is the edge, because the edge is changing quite a bit as well. The definition of, of edge computing or edge, what an edge re device really is. Um, we are flexible, we can run, on, we're a very small uh, uh, footprint as far as wherever they reside. So we're empowering that. Uh, when it comes to, when it comes to solid, I'm, I'll let Avi talk about their, their role, but really, wherever they want that edge, we can we can exist there. Yeah, for us, uh, you know, we see the whole AI evolution as two things, right? It's, it's either scaling up yep. or scaling out. 
and uh, whether it's the uh, you know the data center which requires efficient high density storage or at the edge uh, we are we are so, we are helping solve those with different form factors yeah. right uh, at the edge you need much more smaller form factors efficient power while at the uh, while at the data center you just need raw bandwidth so we have a full portfolio of so, uh, ssd solutions depending on where the uh, data center is located you bring up a great point though with the density that's happening today it's amazing you're finding the 122, you know, terabyte drives. Think about the form factors that can fit into many servers now with the, with the 56 or 64 uh, uh, drives in it. You're talking about four to six petabytes sitting in within a 2U frame, right? So you're going to address a tremendous amount of the workloads within the AI space. Yeah, so you know, I'm thinking automatically going to entertainment, being able yeah. to create and capture more content at the edge, do that AI video processing at the edge. That's one use case, but let's focus on like this medical use case and the ability to do genomics and scans at the edge. I mean, give, give us a sense of scale like, what are some of the things you're seeing done at the edge from a medical? It's all about efficiency, right? Yes, we talk about AI, but unless there is a use case, which in this example, the medical uh, uh, community uh, encountered where they were trying to process real time uh, images uh, and they're doing medical scans and their current time to Im process images was roughly 30 odd minutes. Uh, and having um, an NVIDIA DGX server, uh, PKIO software, along with Dell's infrastructure with Solidine SSDs, um, they could do that now in 30 seconds, uh, right? You're talking real, um, real time perceivable benefits, which the medical industry could take advantage of. And by the way, when you're talking medical, it needs to be secure yes. uh, and, sec and reliable, and which this whole uh, platform together provides as well. So Roger, I'm going to wrap this up by the tough question. The industry is exceptionally competitive yes. from a components perspective all the way up to, you know, the Dell AI factory. Dell has plenty of competitors. What's special about the Solidime relationship with Peak AIO? Uh, really, if you boil it down, it's the ability for us to do more at the edge, right? Um, the density that they provide it's a great example in the medical example. We're able to sit on that edge, as I mentioned before, um, capture those MRI images, run the model against that image, determine if there's an issue, then run the inference on that issue. That solution, especially with, with um, Medica, as you mentioned, it's secure. You can't bring the patient information back to that model. So you can bring the inference of that information back. You can so, bring your AI to your data. Exactly right. And, and, and Solidime really allows us to do that with the density that it has to offer. So you've heard just a couple of use cases here from the show floor. We have the Dell AI factory in the backdrop. We're talking about energy use cases. We're talking more medical use cases, entertainment, deep research around the human brain and how the human brain works and influences the AI neural networks. So much to learn here at Supercompute 2024. And we're covering as much as we can, 6.5 on the road. Stay tuned for more deep content. I'm your host, Keith Townsend. And for our guests, Avi and Roger, thank you for following our coverage.